Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm joined by Chris, Real Ale Number 40, and we have a bottle, another bottle of Mohawk beer. Now, can you remember the last beer we did from Mohawk? We did two. We, we did a dark beer from Mohawk. What was it? Was Respirator. That? Some kind of uh, lager. Mm. Respiration Beige, it was called. It was the one where um, we were clearly sitting on on two chairs upstairs. Yes, yeah, yeah, it was a couple, we pulled a couple of chairs out. Yeah, that was a long time ago. We've, we've not lived it down since. And the other one was um, a hoppy lager. Uh, down, we've done it down the bottom of the garden there. But oh, sorry, yeah. today, the top, of the garden today. top of the garden today, in the, sun, in the sunshine, we have Mohawk's Imperial... Oh, Mohawk Blizzard Imperial Porter Ooh. coming in at 10.9% ABV. Look at that. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Luckily, it's my birthday today. It's Chris's birthday, so Ooh, I've not brought off. one Swedish beer for him. I've got two Swedish beers. Um, one to you, double barrel aged. What would you say that... that I don't know, presumably taken out one barrel and bunged in another or something. That's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah. That's what I was thinking, yeah. And yeah. There's no point in putting one barrel inside another, is there? No. That doesn't make sense. I think it's to draw out all of the oak from two... And this is the 2012 one, so this is two years old now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Um, thank you to Johan for sending us the beer. Um, I've kept this for Chris's birthday. Um, he's knocking on now, he's going to lose his taste buds soon, yeah. so... This is saying this has got a, uh, well. It says um, Brigid Med and Complex Malt Base. So I guess, I guess wow. that means Complex Malt Base. Okay. Um, and then traditional humbling and hard fat and modern American touch. Um, so traditional with an American touch. I'm guessing that's going to mean a big hoppy imperial porter. Well done on your but Swedish. That's a guess. That is purely a guess based on not even schoolboy Swedish. Just guessing. Yeah. Okay, mm. let's get it open. Let's get it open. Right, big trip cap on there. Big double sized cap, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Big one. So, using the wine size opener. Mashed him open. Lovely, look at that. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at this. Okay, yeah, get it up to the camera, Chris. Wow, wow, wow. And there's a good characteristic always to, to Swedish Imperial Stouts, Imperial Porters. They've always got this lovely, thick, tan coloured head, mm. which means a good body, yeah? Yeah, yeah, generally, yeah. Um, well, yeah, the difference between this and you may have seen the review before, this, this is Hodor over here. And this was brewed specifically to have a weak ABV. Yeah. The difference between that and this is marked. Yeah. What I tried to, what I want to do one day is try and brew something along these lines. So, any tips you've got? Yeah. Comment. How do you brew uh, an, um, an imperial porter? I, I'm, I'm guessing personally, it's, it's plenty of malt. Mm. It's just jam packed full of malt. But beer in a glass, yeah. Two finger tank cut ahead. Easy. Jet black, no light coming in, a little bit of carbonation. Yep. Get the aroma. Mm, that's for the new American hops specifically. That's Centennial and Oh I'm picking up the the caramelized It's like somebody's um oh. those little flame throwers, isn't it? The miniature flame throwers that you put on Yes! Heated up the the brown sugar. Mm. Burnt brown sugar. What are those bloody things called? What are those things are called? Jamie Oliver, yeah, Gordon Ramsay uses them. The little flame torch, blow torch. Oh, for cooking. They're called something. I've got one in the kitchen. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, I cooked bacon with it once. Came up burnt. It's 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 that it's like blow torched brown sugar, a burnt roasted brown sugar, but with that lovely barrel age, you get the wood, you get the whiskey. I'm I'm guessing it's whiskey. Hmm. Possibly bourbon. Yeah. Right oh, it smells cracking. I reckon we should dive into this. Oh, blimey. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. Oh. It's like shoving a kilo of Maltesers in your mouth. Yeah. And then having a shot of Jack Daniels. Lovely sweetness then, loads of chocolate, oakiness, barreliness, whiskiness, double stout porter. Yeah, you, you're going along them lines, isn't you? And just as that hits, we've got um, probably the most intense sunlight we've had in yeah. a fortnight. Yeah. Raining, well, raining, raining down, down on us. Yeah, it was raining ten minutes ago. Yeah. Um, so we thought, will it rain and we'll get a porter out? But um, this is very much like what I've been trying from a lot, from, from a lot of these kind of Swedish, Norwegian, Belgium. They all go big, thick body. Yeah. But there's, there's a light and frothy coffee note to it. Mm. Well. It's like a, a frappe mappuccino or whatever they call it. Yeah. Light and fluffy, mm. but yeah, very sweet. And, it, and sweet, yeah. It's like somebody's uh, sprinkled sugar over the top of that. And it comes back to the, what are those bloody things called? Uh, like a like, like a burnt toasted brown sugar on the top of a creme brulee. Creme brulee. That's the. Uh, Is that what that, I'm looking for? Yes, that was the thing I was. Oh, for. I don't know. He knew it all along. See, <laughs> he has them for tea every night, and that's the thing. <laughs> On it. Yeah. Like let's 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 top you up. Oh well, yeah. why not? Chris's yeah. birthday. Chris's birthday. Keep diving in, Chris. Keep pulling flavours for me. Go on. Twenty-one years young. <laughs> why not? I'm still that. I'm still as young as I was. I can just do what I feel like whenever yeah. I feel like it. Hmm. What do you think, Chris? I think the over overwhelming characteristic in it for me is that draw between. The coffee and the hops. Yeah. And actually, the coffee wins out in the end at the back of the mouth. The yeah. coffee and the sweetness and the creme brulee, thank you, um, really kicks in. Whiskey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 no. it's, more, it's more bourbon than whiskey for me. Yeah. Now, at this stage, I'll explain. Bourbon and whiskey taste the same to me. I'm, I'm not a whiskey fan, so as soon as I get anything like that, I call it whiskey. So I'm a kind of right, tunnel so vision with it. I can, I can do that with Scotch and whiskey. Yeah, and yeah, and, and, and bourbon. You know, it, there's a difference for me. So and a double. The, the, the sweetness for me is, is what's characteristic of some comfort and JD and all that stuff. Whereas the Scotch will give you those more kind of refined and malty and peaty flavours. Yeah, this has got that lovely sweet base and a caramelly kind of flavour. Um, I want to quickly talk about Mohawk Brewing Company before we go. Um, we've had Hoppy Lagers, we've had Respirator. I think it was a German Bock. That was it. It was a, it was a, it was a German Strong Bock. The Respirator, mm. I believe. Now we're drinking a double barrel aged porter. Um, I've drunk IPAs. It seems like that they don't mind putting their hand to any type of style of beer. I, yeah, I like I like their um, attitude. It's, it's they're willing to give stuff a go. They're willing to gypsy brew as well. This done by De Proof Brewing, which is where that beer we oh, earlier today. Same sort of thing. They've gone somewhere. They've said, we can bring some expertise, but we need to borrow some of yours. Let's do that. Great. <coughs> great. Let's and, of course, the 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 key to that is sitting right in front of us. This this almost looks like you've got that Belgian bottle, the, the big, thick neck. You, you could almost put a, a cork in there. Yeah. A cork in there, it's got that, it's got, let me show you, it's got that cork neck to it. Even though they capped it, that was the key that the, was sitting there all along. Which one's got an oversized cap? Right, yes, the oversized cap. There we go, so that bottle was built for maybe a saison or something with a cork or a yeah. sour. Right, yeah, but we're getting clever. We're slowly getting clever with beer. One last thing. <laughs> This has got a lovely grassy in notes. Mm. Let's see if you pair that up. Almost like if you've not had, yeah. your, not had your appendix removed, you probably might suffer if it, you know, really drink the spirit. It's, yeah, yeah, definitely that, that lovely kind of sweet grass, you know, to, at the end. Um, I, I'd say traditional, maybe even Bramling Cross or something in there as, as a hop. It's not. It's not meant to be a big hoppy smack your mouth up beer, is it at all? Um, it's more of a a malty, it, it, you know, let let the malts do their job. Yeah. 
let the wood and the barrel age and the, and, and the bourbon do its job. Vanilla flavour. Yeah. Drag out. Vanilla, that's another flavour there. Yeah. It's a great beer. What would you rate it? There's so much going on. I think there's so much going on. Yeah. That I have to always drop the rating. So to maybe an eight and a half. It's fantastic. But because there's too many things going on for me, when you've seen me just drag flavours out again and again and again. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm not as sophisticated as I could be, but I'd, I'd like to be able to pull it out in the first two or three hits. For me, yeah. this, this keeps giving, but actually that's a bad thing, so I'm, I'm going to drop it right now. Which isn't a bad rating. No, no, very, very, still very, very high. Very, very high. I'm going to go 9 out of 10. Um, for me, what I like to do with a beer, a beer like this would be to go and sit in the corner somewhere and pull over all of them flavours. Pull one out of it. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep pulling the flavours. Yeah. So <laughs> nine out of ten. Um, but great beer, Mohawk Brewing Company, Blizzard Imperial Porter, Double Barrel Age. Thank you to Johan for sending. Mm. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Check out Real Alien 140, Twitter, Facebook and the social networks. And cheers.